Hello Taurus, thank you so much for coming to Echo Catcher Tarot. This is going to be your reading from the 16th of March to the 22nd of March. So please remember, I read the cards and you have to decide if they apply to you or your situation. So when I pull a card, who you feel like the first person um, you think of when you see the card is probably your best choice. So feel free to vice versa, the masculine, feminine, the king and queens on the card, how they would relate to you if the situation does. And um, if I feel like I'm talking about a card that relates to you and you feel like it doesn't, then go ahead and vice versa that. So welcome cross watchers or people who watch our loved ones videos. And let's get started. Thank you for all the support on the channel. I appreciate it so much. So the first one that comes up for you is Bunny Hop Jive number four. So four, these are all the oracle cards too that are all for you and the tarot cards go here which are the energies around you but you'll probably show up over there. So bunny hop jive to me pretty much means that you are going to be partnered up or familyed up. It, the four number represents being with somebody. And so and then it signifies a family to me, the number four on the bunny hop jive. So you need somebody else usually to do a bunny hop jive dance. Or there's the bike trick you can do on your bikes to buddy hop. So it just makes me think of somebody else. So I feel like you're becoming more committed to a family or a relationship. So the F word. The F word talks about forgiving somebody. When you forgive them, then it releases you to be able to go any direction you want. So forgiveness is pretty important right off the start and right side up, number one. So you have 4, 3, and 1, 30, if you want to do it that way. So this talks about your emotions and your communication skills are going to land you right side up. So something's going on that you're going to end something, you're going to forgive, or maybe it's already ended, but you're going to forgive something and you're going to land right side up. And you're going to be more committed in a relationship or a family structure of some sort. Alright, so the next one for you is Five of Cups. So there's somebody who misses you tremendously. Somebody looks back on the relationship or their time spent with you. Knight of Cups is somebody wanting to come in and offer an apology. Somebody who has love for you. So they look back here, but I feel like they want to move forward with you. So Three of Wands. Three of Wands is a lot of opportunity. So I feel like somebody sees many opportunities with somebody else. They see happiness that could go in many different directions. And I feel like they're writing, this is how they see you, Taurus. So the next one is Knight of Swords. So Knight of Swords is somebody who is spying, somebody who wants to communicate. Somebody wants to come in and communicate what they didn't communicate here. And I feel like there's a lot of emotion already in all this in this reading so far. So the Magician. So the Magician could mean that somebody is trying to manifest something, somebody is doing their meditation and just putting out there in the universe what they want. They're believing they can have what they want. So Princess of Coins is somebody who's very practical with her coins. She's very practical. She's very practical. She thinks with her head before she makes love decisions. So if it works out in her head, then she'll put her heart into it. So Knight of Wands. Why well, you have all the knights in here almost. So Knight of Wands is player energy. So this is saying if she sees player energy, she's not going to pursue this. That's not what she's looking for. So Ace of Wands, she's looking for true love. Wow, Taurus. So somebody is looking for true love. The next one is the Lovers. Oh my gosh. So this could be Gemini placement. So somebody is trying to manifest the... A love to come that's going to last is what I feel. So Seven of Cups is another remembrance card. Somebody putting a lot of time and thought into the past and reflecting on the past situation. Something that was uh, where somebody put out love and it wasn't really reciprocated. So temperance. So temperance to me means that something wasn't right the first time around. The timing wasn't right, so it could be coming around for a second time around. Because the cups have water that is touching, I do feel like this could be past life um, connection that you have with somebody. 
So eight of coins. So you could be connecting to this person through work, is what I feel, is where you could have met this person. So I'm going to switch to the um, Cat's Wisdom deck now. So yeah, or it says that somebody is working a lot. So either you met this person at work, or they're working a lot, or both. But somebody is definitely wanting you back, is what I feel, Taurus. So Ace of C, wow, this is true love. So love is all of your reading. It's clarifying the lover's card. So Firekin to me is somebody who takes chances, somebody who does things and then think about them after they do them. So I don't know if there was an issue in the relationship where somebody was very selfish and thought of themselves and they didn't care if they got burned, but they didn't think about if it would burn other people around them. So I do see that. So Sea Queen again is somebody who's very grounded and stable, somebody who thinks with their head, they don't make childish choices. They don't make a decision based on feelings. They do that after they make the clarification if, if it makes sense in their brain. So Fire Queen. Fire Queen is an angry female to me. That is somebody who's angry. I feel like you have two queens here, Taurus. One is grounded, emotionally stable, and one is angry and likes to be the center of attention. Calm, drama. Calm, drama. So Two of Fire says that you are trying to make a choice. You're trying to make a choice of your future. You're looking at everything. Every You're checking every box. You're looking at everything you've done and how you can close those doors and turn around and move to something new in your future. Grace talks about talking kind to yourself, that you're almost to the end of a cycle. It's been very emotional. You're going to your rainbow, but you have to be kind. You have to... Trust that you're on the path you're supposed to be on, and where you're going is going to be better than you came from. So death, wow. So there's an ending to something. There's some sort of ending to where something's going to end so a new door can open. So ten of earth. So ten of earth is clarity to people who come around your house and they feel comfortable. So I do feel like... The death could be you need to let go of a friend, I feel, who has more feelings for you than you do for her. I feel like you have a group of friends that hang out. And one of your friends, I feel, is not happy with your choice of relationship choices. They want to be a relationship choice is what I'm feeling. And so they are very angry and causing chaos. I feel like something needs to end there. You need to close that door. You need to do something to get this person to stop being so drama, dramatic. So the tower. So the tower is going to cause something to fall. The tower is going to, to me the tower is when you live in a house of cards and the wind comes and blows the cards down. That was a house of cards. If you build a house with structure from the foundation up, you won't be able to be knocked over by a wind. So Earth Kitten. So the universe is sending something new your way. They're sending you something new. They're causing something to fall apart and in. So Sky King is somebody very cold. Somebody who watches you. And Nine of C. Nine of C is you seeing your big picture. You seeing you being ahead of your enemies. You see having abundance. You see your emotions being checked. Your money being checked. You see um, inner child issues being resolved. You see a lot of happiness with this new person. So now I'm going to switch to the souls or the Earth Wisdom cards for you. So the first one is big picture 23, 5. So I do feel like something is changing. So, so far we have 3, 4, 5. There's going to be a transformation. Something is shifting in your life. You've healed from something. This basically says that you have the key to your heart. You know who would take care of that key. You know who would just fit in nicely with where you want your future to be. Next one is divine love. So Divine Love talks about when you love yourself, then you know how to choose a partner that will be loving of you. So I feel like 
if you allow somebody to treat you less than, then you don't love yourself enough because you let this person treat you like that. So I do feel like you're coming more in full view of you put yourself first. And then whoever comes along has to put you in the same light. And if they don't see you in the same light, then there's no reason to pursue it. So you've learned something in this past relationships that make you more aware of what you want and what you won't put up with. So prosperity, 32. So you have five. Wow. So you have five, four, five. So prosperity talks about um, your light's going to shine. Something is going to light you up. You have good things coming to you. You're transforming. You're putting yourself first and good things are going to come to you. Your big picture is going to be beautiful. You're going to be happy with yourself. You're going to have abundance. Your emotions are going to be in check which I feel like they already always have been, but they're just going to be happier emotions than what you've had in the past. You're going to have an abundance of happy emotions. So breakthrough to new dimension 25. There are a new endeavors on the horizon. Innovative energy wants you to burst forth through your consciousness. So this is Migaloo and Migaloo Jr. <laughs> Excuse me. In Australia... They consider seeing either one of these whales very good luck. So you have stars in here, you have breaking the surface with the white light, and you have the luck. So something is shifting for you. I do feel like you, when you love yourself so much, then everything else just falls into place because people know I can't misguide her because she puts herself to a high standard, and if I treat her less than, she'll know right away. So resilience. There is no need to rush or push. This is a time to take things as they come. You have the determination and patience to handle what is happening. So you have one one. Resilience and right side up. So this is the sea turtle obviously and this is the whale. So I do feel like there's a lot happening for you, to you, that is going to change your life in a more positive sense. You're breaking through, you're resilient. So something that was very tough, I feel like it has a lot to do with you too, how you viewed yourself, how you how you put other people maybe a little bit before you. Magic guardian, unlock the magic within. So look at this. She has a key here and they're saying unlock the magic. So this talks about manifesting, that you're manifesting what's coming to you, you're bringing it to you. Your powerful belief in yourself and your energy and what you want is being heard from the divine and they are bringing this to you in your life. So good, kudos to you for believing in yourself and not giving up, Taurus. And I know all of us have our downfalls at times in our life, but I feel like you went through a very difficult time and you're getting ready to reap the rewards. So Medicine Mother, honor your inner knowing. So this talks about Xfinity. I see the petals from the sunflower right there around her head. I do see the heart right here. I do feel like something about you knew this was going to happen. I do feel like maybe it's something your mother told you or you as a mother. It, something popped in your head and then left your head really fast. Either when you were little or when you were adult. But something stuck in your head. A mother said, or you said when you were a mother, that has helped you do this change. I don't know what it is or what it could pertain to, but there's something within you that helped you to make the change. To, and you had the magician in here too, to change your life. So I feel like love is coming into you, a new love. You're going to be more structured and confident in what's coming for you. Thank you so much, Taurus. Bless you.